what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A white man reportedly ran two miles with the television on his shoulder in Vero Beach, Florida on May 8th in response to the racial bias that led to the shooting death of Ahmaud Arbery. Gregory McMichael and son Travis McMichael shot and killed Ahmad, a black man in Bronxwick, Georgia on February 23rd. They reportedly told police he resembled a neighborhood burglar. Ahmad was reported to have been jogging unarmed. Richard Demick, a former youth pastor, reportedly ran over two miles through his neighborhood as part of a virtual protest on what would have been Ahmad's birthday. Richard said he didn't believe it mattered how suspicious he appeared, that being white alone was enough to save him from Ahmad's fate. Footage shows him running shirtless with a television on his shoulder. He says painting, going on a nice leisurely jog. In the South, in the suburbs, carrying a TV and perfectly safe. I wonder why that is. I run with a mob. That's what Pastor Richard Demick said. What do y'all think about that? Is that accurate? I know some people say, well, you know, try that in South Bronx. I bet you won't try that in Oak Cliff. Try that in Fifth Ward, see what happens. Here's the deal, Rich. I can appreciate the effort, I really do, because at least you're listening and you're trying to do something. A lot of people ain't doing nothing. They won't even, they won't do nothing. They'll just complain or they'll do nothing. Sit back and watch the action. So at least he got up off his ass, got off the sideline and tried to do something to bring some awareness, right? But I think that it wasn't a good enough act to convey the message that really needs to be made. Because number one, you're running in your own neighborhood, so it's easy. I mean, somebody could easily assume that you wasn't stopped by anybody because the people in the neighborhood recognize you as Pastor Demick. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's Richard, that's, that's Richard, that's Pastor, no big deal. Now, one could also argue that we live in a different time, so a lot of people don't even know who their neighbors are. You did? Uh, I see neighbors all the time, I don't recognize them. So many people, I don't know who they are. So, one can say that you know, perhaps they don't really have a lot of meaning, right? But I'll go back to my original point. At least he tried. We all know that that could very well happen in any neighborhood where a white guy is running with a television and he doesn't get stopped. You know how I know that's accurate? Because I got a white homeboy. And back in the day when he used to be up to no good, he could go inside of a Walmart, load it up with flat screen television. Anything he wanted to put inside of that basket and roll right out. And nobody would question him. He did the same thing at uh, Office Depot. He did the same thing at Home Depot. Anywhere he would go, he could just load up a basket and roll right out. Now, you know damn well, ain't too many black guys going to get away with something like that. But they gave him the benefit of doubt. I mean, I saw this with my own eyes. I saw him do it. So I know it's real. 
a lot of times they're watching the boogeyman, you know, for some of these people, black man is the boogeyman. So they're watching the boogeyman, but dude over here doing all the damage. This is why it throw me off when there are white people who say that they're more afraid of black people. They appear to be more afraid of black people when we all know now that crime is about proximity. It's not about color, it's proximity. Whoever you're around the most, if you get victimized, that's probably who's going to victimize you. Nine times out of 10, that who is, that's who's going to victimize you. Victims of rape, victims of domestic abuse look like the suspects, looks like the perpetrators, okay? People that get murdered. Most white people get murdered by white people. So why are white people so afraid of black people? White people should be afraid of white people because that's who mostly rape white people and kill white people and steal from white people and rob white people. It's white people. Just like black people are the ones who mostly rob black people and kill black people and rape black people. Same thing with uh, uh, Hispanics and same thing with uh, Asians. Same thing. You dig what I'm saying? So for somebody to think that this group of people is more is going to be more dangerous to, to me than my own people, it's ridiculous. It don't even make sense because the numbers don't lie. They've been put in front of us time and time again. So how can we not see that unless we just don't want to see it? Some people just want to be mad. Some people just want to not like other people or people that don't have their same background, share their same uh, interest, come from the same place they come from, look like them. Some people just wanna have that type of complex. When again, the people that harm us the most, mostly look like us. You dig what I'm saying? But to take that out on somebody that look like them, that's too much like right. I commend the pastor again. You know, I, 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 I appreciate the effort. And, you know, he is right. He is right. Uh, and at the very least, if anybody would have stopped him and said, hey, guy, what you doing? They definitely wouldn't have shot him. Oh, I put that on everything. What's that commercial? I put that shit on everything. Whatever that commercial is, I put that shit on everything. He definitely would not have been shot. Drop a comment, fam. Let me know what you think. No more talk. What the haters talking about?